Welcome to another video on PTS the tutor. We still do physics and for online classes you can reach us on this number here. Alright, so our online classes were we have grade 10, 11 and 12 as well as GCE. Now a, a horizontal beam is pivoted at X. So this is a pivot. So that's the pivot. Now, a mass of 200 grams, it rests on the beam as shown. So there's a mass here resting on the beam. The center, take note, the center of mass of the beam. Now, when they say the center of mass, it's a point where the mass of an object is concentrated. Is 50 centimeters from the right hand end of the beam. Where is the right hand? This is the right end of the beam and that is the left so i'm viewing it from this way now the beam is balanced uh, what is the mass of the beam so they have told us something important that the center of mass is at 50 from the right so it's 50 that means from right here so we measure 50 let's say our 50 is somewhere here we put 50 there centimeters you get a concept right so this is this point here is 50 that point there is 50 centimeters this is where the mass of the me of this beam is concentrated so this is where we are going to find our mass of the beam let me call it mb mass of the beam so whenever you are this is now we we are now going to apply the principle of moment Two of them is up to which one you want. So this one we're going to use the uh, anti-clockwise torques, which are equal to clockwise what? Torques or moments that are clockwise being equal to anti-clockwise moments. All right. Now the more the distance, we know that moment is force multiplied by the perpendicular distance. So that distance that, that, that we're talking about should be from the pivot. For example. Um, so this is the mass, right? All right, so let's call it mass A is 200 grams. Then distance A is a distance of this mass from the pivot, which is 20 centimeters. Now, some of you, you would want to convert the grams to kgs and the centimeters to meters. My friend, don't have to do that. This is a balanced, it's a, we, we are saying uh, anti-clockwise moment being equal to clockwise moment. So it's an equation, so you don't have to convert. Unless they just told you to say find moment. That's when you can start converting. Right, then let's look at MB, which is the mass we don't have. Then D, which is the distance of the, of the mass of the beam from where it is to the pivot. So, look, this is 20 plus 20, 40, so this is 40. So, what's the distance here? The difference is 10. So, that's what we're going to get, 10. I hope I've made myself clear. From 50 to here, this is a pivot. The, the pivot, when you add this plus there, you get 40. So, this is 40. Now, 40 and 50, the difference is 10. Then we'll say, MA multiplied by what? DA is equal to MB multiplied by what? db all right so ma is 200 grams da is 20 centimeters just 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 write 20 mb we don't know but db is 10 so you divide both sides by 10 both sides by 10 so mb there and there gives you what 400 what grams so this, this is a mass of the of the entire beam so simple as that, right? So from the base science tutor, you can learn a lot. And I rest my case. Don't forget to follow, subscribe, and most importantly, for online classes, that number there.